Hi, this is Marto. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Carlos Torre and Edwin Adams. This game was played in the United States in 1920. Carlos Torre had white pieces and he started with e4. Edwin Adams played e6. d4, d5, French defense. Knight to c3, knight to f6. Bishop to g5, pinning the knight, threatening e5. d takes on e4, knight takes on e4, bishop to e7 and pinning, and now bishop takes on f6, removing the defender of h7 pawn. Bishop takes on f6, knight to f3, c6, c3, queen to c7, bishop to d3, knight to d7, Queen to e2, b6 intending, bishop to b7 and c5. White to move. Perhaps castling comes to mind, do you agree? Or maybe even knight takes bishop. Carlos Torre played a surprise move. g4. What a move. Threatening g5 c5 attacking on the other wing d takes on c5 knight takes on c5 knight takes knight queen takes knight white to move g5 this is now very interesting moment of the game how should black continue this is something perhaps that carlos store had in mind Bishop takes on g5, and then queen to e4, attacking the rook, perhaps. But Edwin Adams spotted a tactic in this position, which can win lots of material. Maybe. Can you see a good tactic for black? Edwin Adams captured the pawn on c3 with check you have reached the most interesting position of the game white to move how should white continue what would you do if pawn takes bishop queen takes on c3 check winning the rook please pause and find the best move for white pause what did you find did you find king to f1 this is very sensible move it's not losing material but this is not the move played in the game in the game Carlos story captured the bishop queen takes on c3 check Queen to d2, queen takes rook check, king to e2, queen takes rook on h1. Wow, no rooks! Black is much better materially, isn't he? Which king is safer? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Hmm? White must be fast and precise. Would you continue? Carlos Torre went deliberately for this position because he has a forced win starting with the move bishop to b5 check bishop to d7 if king goes to f8 queen to d8 checkmate if king goes to e7 queen to b4 check king to d8 queen to d6 check bishop to d7 queen takes bishop checkmate so, Edwin Adams played bishop to d7. Queen takes bishop check. King to f8. g6, threatening queen takes pawn on f7 checkmate. h takes on g6. White to move. White played a move and black resigned. The move is knight to g5. Black resigned. There is no sensible defense against queen takes pawn on f7 checkmate. Wow, <laughs> it was an amazing attack, wasn't it? What do you think of this game? 
And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.